Hello, I'm Cameron Smith for the Alabama Policy Institute. And here's what's happening inside Montgomery. During the state legislature's two-week break in May, a special committee held public hearings as they formulated a plan for redistricting congressional and state board of education districts based on the 2010 census. State Representative Jim McClendon co-chaired the committee. He explains the redistricting process. Folks have moved around and so when they move you have to move the lines to go capture those people to keep uh, that district, get our district back in balance that's underpopulated. We have some districts that were underpopulated, we have other districts that were overpopulated. You gotta take from one and give it to the other and that's where the struggle is. Whole idea, get them done during this session without having the expense of a special session. The committee will work on the State House and Senate districts during the next legislative session. One of the most controversial bills before the legislature this session is a plan to reform tenure for state education employees. The Alabama Education Association protested the legislation which would change the way tenured teachers appeal dismissals as well as returning the power to hire and fire directly to local school boards. What we're doing is we're changing the dynamics of, um, of tenure and fair dismissal by returning to the local school boards the ability not only to hire but to also terminate or to implement transfers. And uh, so it brings about more accountability and to me it will lead to better overall uh, teachers in the classroom throughout this state which results in a better education. And what we're doing now is we're removing the federal arbitrators, we're going back to a hearing after the school board may has a hearing and conducts a ruling uh, if the employee wants to object to a termination or a suspension or a transfer then they will go before a neutral hearing officer which will be a retired judge from the state of Alabama. State Senator Tripp Pittman sponsored the bill in the Senate. He says critics of the legislation have mischaracterized its intent. The biggest criticism is, is that we're doing away with tenure which is not the case. There will still be tenure. Good teachers don't have anything to worry about. The process will be more efficient. Uh, it will save money, but the most important thing is it will make sure that we have the best teacher in every classroom throughout the state of Alabama. The bill was approved in both houses of the legislature in the last week of May and signed into law by the governor. Please continue to send your comments and questions to info at alabamapolicy.org. For the Alabama Policy Institute, I'm Cameron Smith. Thank you for watching.